Springfield, Missouri, Velvet McIntyre. Her opponent, Honolulu, Hawaii, Lalani Kai. One fall, 20 minutes. Oh, here they are, the gals that you wanted to see. Velvet McIntyre and Lalani Kai, and the bell is sounding. These ladies waste no time going at each other. Kai has a slight weight advantage, 152 to McIntyre's 145. Look at that. Man, I mean to tell you, Velvet McIntyre kicked out and Lalani Kai went flying across that ring. Don't let that 152 fool you. Lalani Kai is quick as a cat. She is, uh, if you would have to give an edge and experience, she is the veteran in this match. Velvet McIntyre has made a tremendous reputation for herself in the last couple of years. She's had some big wins and uh, has come very, very close in matches for some several major championships that has the eyes of the wrestling world on this young lady. Got the toe hold applied, and Velvet turns it over and kicks out. And Lalani flies away. Lalani Kai warily, obviously respectful of the ability of Velvet McIntyre. McIntyre pulls back into the ropes. Lalani Kai tries the big splash. Velvet McIntyre rolling out of the way, going immediately to that hammerlock. A girl wrestling also coming to the big... St. Louis show in the weeks ahead. Stay tuned. We'll tell you more about all that as the woman goes along. Velvet McIntyre really working right now on that left arm of Lalani Kai. Ooh, turn it over again. Now the reversal. That one just about comes out of the socket. Mark, a little bit later this hour, I'm really looking forward to the second appearance on Wrestling at the Chase of a masked man by the name of Tiger Mask, who made a tremendous impression on wrestling fans last week here on Wrestling at the Chase, again this week, and it'd be very interesting to see this man in action again. He's wrestled all over the world, including the Orient, and he learned a lot over the Orient. Tiger Mask coming up, and Lalani Kai saying... Velvet McIntyre pulled her hair, but Jim Buddy, the referee, says no way. Well, I think the fans here in St. Louis right now, here in the studio, have to be favoring Velvet a little bit because she's a homegrown gal, Springfield, Missouri. McIntyre now absorbing a couple of uh, hard forums from Lalani Kai, but Velvet McIntyre has a tremendous sense of leverage. As you saw, she hung on to that arm bar even while Lalani Kai was pounding away at the corner. Uh, a lot of people have pinned a lot of praise on Velvet McIntyre, and really you can't say enough about either one of these young ladies. They're the new breed of wrestlers, both extremely well conditioned, both very proficient at what they do, and uh, both very talented inside that squared circle. Well, well Lalani Kai has the upper hand. Got that knee right across the shoulder. Putting the arm on. Watch out. Oh, stomping right on the wrist and hand of Melvin McIntyre. And now pulling the hair. Look at this. Just tossing the head. And then tossing Velvet clear across the ring. Part of the well-deserved reputation of Lalani Kai, that of a, of a rather rough house young lady. Lalani Kai takes uh, no qualms at all about going to a shortcut again. Driving Velvet McIntyre to the canvas, and uh, this young lady's got to be in trouble now, Mark. Fans do not like it at all. Look at this. Now she... Oh! Holy cow! Normally, <laughs> I guess you'd call that a flying mare, but that's a flying hare there, because she just tossed her right over. Complete flip by the hair alone. And now that nerve hold. There you can see some of the experience now of Lalani Kai coming into play because she learned this wrestling over in Hawaii. Many of the great Polynesian wrestlers, men like Superfly, Jimmy Snuka, Toru Tanaka, of the Asian background are very, very adept at uh, the seven pressure points in the body, and Lalani Kai is no exception. She's, uh, again, a powerful woman at 152 pounds. She has the size, she has the strength, and she has the experience. Most of all, she has got uh, a lot of very vicious ability. Using the hair again.
stands her up, and McIntyre gets a shot right in the throat. Velvet returns an uppercut to the midsection, but not enough to drop Lalani Carr to the canvas. Oh, look at this. Smashing knee drop. Five minutes, five minutes have passed. Leg scissors right around the throat and the chin. Look at this. Really applying pressure to the side of the head and the neck. Now going in for that body press. Almost has it. Whoops, reversed. Again. And uh, a third time, Velvet McIntyre. Now Lalani Kai, they're into the ropes. Referee Jim Bunny calls for the break. And here again, we see Kai going right to those shortcuts. Oh, oh stomp right on her chest. That's got to hurt. Here's the hair again, just pulling around by the hair. Tell you what, that beautiful hair of Velvet McIntyre might be more of a liability than, than an attribute in her business as a professional wrestler. Oh, pounding her, choking her on that top rope. Can't believe Jim Bunny is going to let her get away with this. Given the count. Kai, now up with that full body slam. Almost a big splash, and Velvet McIntyre powers out at the count of two. Velvet McIntyre just back from a very successful tour of Japan. A non-title win over one of the all-time Japanese great lady wrestlers, Chiyu Obata, in her recent tour of Japan. Again, good leg sweep from Velvet McIntyre, and McIntyre appears to be getting her second win, but... Again, we see that experience of Lolani Kai paying off. Almost. Game within a half second. Kai now closing in. Another forearm to the chest of Velvet McIntyre. McIntyre now takes command. Kind of one, kind of two. the arm bar on and now Lalani Kai feeling the pain I'm telling you this ladies match has probably the momentum has changed more than you'll ever see in a guys match those gals such endurance what is the kind of matches you come to expect on wrestling at the chase two of the premier lady wrestlers in the world today and McIntyre again having uh, Lalani Kai in the predicament has decided I apparently to concentrate her strategy on the right arm of Lalani Kai. That oh, look at this, tugging on the wrist. monkey grip like our bar. Yep, tugging on the wrist, the wrist lock pulling and using the feet as a lever. Any professional athlete will tell you about hyperextension and uh, this maneuver right here will hyperextend that elbow joint in a hurry and uh, once that happens, as you well know, it's nothing but the injured list, wherever is the recipient. Make a wish. Make a wish. She's got both arms spread back. Shoulders are gonna go. Look at the foot right in the, right between the shoulder blades. Great camera shot right there by a Channel 11 staff. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's painful. McIntyre using all of that 145 pounds and Lilani Kai is, is virtually helpless on the mat when both of your arms are trapped behind your back and you're at such a disadvantage on the mat there's not a whole lot you can do to reverse the situation i think it's a front chin lock now away from the camera's view but yep front chin lock and she's really tugging and lalani kai literally screaming literally screaming and i i think she may have bitter mcintyre apparent from our vantage point appears to be clutching one of her hands she might have been the recipient uh, I wouldn't put it past Lalani Kai, not for a second, Mark. Kai now fighting off her knees, bringing Velvet up to her feet into the ropes. Oh. And again, that oriental background of Lalani Kai shows through. Well, Velvet McIntyre right now gasping for breath. That one cut her right in the throat. There it goes. The flying mare again, just simply using the hair. Oh. Coming down with a nerve hole right in the throat, a choke hole. That's illegal. Jim Bunny gives her the count quickly on that one. And there it comes again. A uh, second time, Kai making, uh, not even making an effort to try to hide it from the referee. Just a flagrant and open choke on Velvet McIntyre. Oh, no doubt about it. 
And Dalvid right now having trouble catching her breath. But Lonnie just steps right across her midsection. Now going in for the pin, and she got it. And Velvet McIntyre. kicks out. Just a heartbeat away, and Velvet McIntyre has absorbed such a tremendous amount of punishment. What stamina in this young lady. Kai, Kai blocked on the double chop. McIntyre, a forearm to the chest of Lonnie Kai. Peels Kai off the ropes in a high drop kick that sends the Hawaiian to the canvas. Velvet McIntyre has taken control. Arm toss. Oh, look at this. Almost. Went for the flying leg scissors around the heck and missed. And hits hard. She really hit hard. Lalani Kai, that double chicken wing from behind, sent a drilling full standing suplex. Uh-oh. That's it. We've got a win. That's it. Velvet is not moving. She really took a shot. Ten minutes, 43 seconds. Lalani Kai, and we're going to take another look at some of these maneuvers. You can see Valva just barely starting to move right now. She really took some punishment. Meanwhile, let us take a look at the deciding decision coming up right here. Talk about going at it. First of all, right there, flying drop kick. Caught her with one foot. Lalani Kai goes down hard. Valva backs her up. Into the corner, the arm toss. Kai goes down again. Now, here's where Valva got in trouble. She went in for the flying leg scissors and missed, couldn't connect. She hit high. So Kai obviously took advantage of the situation, grabs the hair again. Now watch this. Puts her into that chicken wing. Now watch her lift her right up. Look at the strength. Oh, look at the strength. And Velvet knows she's going to hit. Oh, did she hit. And that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the ring right now. Rick Stewart standing there with the winner. The time of the fall, 10 minutes and 42 seconds. Your winner is Lalani Kai.